Right so guys and welcome to our various videos we call it just as we're here in the uh, out here at Burghead Caravan Park. Let's have a quick look outside. It's been raining, sun's out but the wind is crazy. So what I thought I'd do is guys just walk you from the caravan down to the beach just to give you a quick look around first off. And there they go look. <laughs> got this great big puddle because it was raining all last night. But I'll tell you guys I'm struggling a bit with the sound just because of the wind. So I've tried to cover up the mic at the same time, so we'll see how we go on. Hey you guys! <laughs> oh the crazies. David's got Emily's wellies on, look. But yeah, so basically there's us you guys, and I'll just give you a quick walk down to the to the water. It's just really, really blowy. We'll just have to see how this turns out. But it is wild. And I'm not long finished off that tour of the harbour, so the tide I think should be going out a bit now. Hopefully we'll show you a little bit later. But let's have a look. Yeah, so basically this is it, look. And it is wild, I can't see any of the boats out today. And it's nice to you guys imagine having this, this one here, eh? Steps up you go. And look at the view we've got. Whoa, right, okay guys, I'll come out. That is really high. But there's a bird head for you, you guys. That is wild, that's actually cheating me, believe it or not. There's some guy down there. Isn't it just beautiful? As you can see again, you guys, a lot of these beaches that I've taken you to, you see the old World War II concrete blocks to stop the old landing craft coming about. They're spread right the way up around the beach. That's royal, boy, that is wild. Woo! We'll come back out a bit later and see if it's cooled down a bit. So there's the caravan there, you guys. You can, you can just see just. A minute or so and you're on the beach. Be great for the summer. Maybe come back in the summer actually. But yeah, this is the site. And of course I think when we did the vlog and whatnot we were in the dark so never really got to see much. But basically guys, you know, it's mostly these what we call static caravans. You know, these are like holiday homes that get rented out and some are owned. But if you check out our machine, ours is pretty big. Ours is okay. Plenty of room in there for us and the kids. We'll wait till we retire to get one of them. <laughs> yeah, we just got a wee park, but it's mostly the statics, you guys. There's like eight or nine um, pitches here for the, the tourers, you know? But basically, the caravan park stretches way back onto that tree line just there that you see. I'm pretty sure there's a walk you can take into the forest. Maybe have a wee looky after, eh? Right, so guys, we're heading across to our friend's house, and that's the wind really got up now. I think it's at its peak, isn't it? Oh, there she goes, little missy. Let's go have a little look, you guys. So Hi. this is about... Hey! I was just going on the swing. Oh, I see. I think we're up to 30 mile an hour winds now. Guys, have you seen the flood? I know, let's go have a look. So was it just because it was raining, wasn't it? Yeah. So you guys are beautiful. Uh huh. Oh right, yeah. A lovely place, isn't it? Yeah, let's still get your feet wet, son. Sometimes I go on the beach. Sometimes you go on the beach. Ah, it's a fair bit of water, that. Oh, there's young Ems, look. <laughs> oh, that's not a real dog, is it? Can't look like it. see the view that we used to have. You see the big house over there with the white, with the two white um, windows up top of the roof. 
down there in the bottom left used to be our office for the regulars where used to work. But in this eh? So that was right after right you know after the first surgery you guys had to just give up, I'm afraid, you had to give up work on medical grounds. So uh still remain very good friends though. I can only apologise for the sound you guys. But as you'll see that's the tide starting to go out now, look, you can see the wall. I think when I did the tour video it was high tide. So this is the same day. And that's it. So yeah, we're heading up to the big house there. It's looking beautiful. There we go, look at Zoe. You thought that Emily was the craziest girl in the world, but it's not! It's Zoe! Yeah, she jumped off <laughs> way higher than I And we've got young Ollie as well, eh? This is our first caravan holiday of the year. Look at our visitors. <laughs> eh? The crazies. <laughs> what are we watching? Boss baby. Now it's so time we gotta restock you guys. We'll head out of the caravan park just now. I need some milk, lettuce, tomatoes and something else. They'll come back to me before we get there. But yeah, there's a little shop in the town. It's where I used to go to get fancy cakes and stuff when I worked here, which is really nice. But I thought we'll just have a wee drive through, let you see a, a little bit more. Not the nicest, the nicest of nights, you guys, but nice and crisp. <laughs> yeah, so I worked here for quite a while, you guys. I really enjoyed it. Loved being in Barkhead. Really nice place. So, of course, it'll be even better in the summer. We'll get down here, that'll mean we're just basically parked on the edge of the beach, sort of thing. So guys, if we were to turn right here, we'd head back to Elgin. But as it goes, we're going to keep heading up top. Nice, eh? Cute little town. Really, really nice. And hopefully the shop's about halfway up here. Hopefully we'll get a parking space outside. Because the wind is still bad, you guys. This wind's still really bad. I might take you up to the point there just to show you how wild it is. And you'll see in the harbour, of course, all the boats are in. I don't know that many of the guys would be out in this. Have we got a parking space here? Yes. Right, guys, that's it. What have we got? Milk, lettuce cucumber and uh, tomatoes with four Cadbury's cream eggs oh, and the kitty winkles for the four of them Zoe and Ollie and all that and up we go so basically guys what we're heading up to sorry I'm not in the right angle there dearie me what we're heading up to is the point, which is a, the old Pictish fort, as they called it. And I can't remember if we can get right up to it. I'm sure we can. I'll get up top and give you a little look. But basically, you guys, you, you're just not going to hear me, I think. I'll try to speak, but I don't think you'll hear us. But this should be a beautiful view up here. Really, really nice. And up we go. So if I pull off over here, for example, there you go, look at the kind of view we've got. And guys, that's the Murray Firth. And that's the eastern coast heading up there of Scotland. And uh, I've just came down someone's driveway. <laughs> and as you can see, it's wild. The tide's a bit further out now. And if you look back, you guys, I did do a tour of the harbour when it was really windy. I'll we'll be head back down there before we go. But I really just wanted to take you up to the point just to give you a, a, a real look. And basically, guys, off to our left, there was like Rose Isle, Findhorn. Um, that's places we've vlogged to before on the motorbike. And of course, we've been at Barkhead a few times now, I have to say. That's really quite telling. And boy, oh boy, it'd have to be tough to live up here. <laughs> or at least have really good double glazing, let me tell you. All right, so let's get parked up here. Right, I have to say, I have to say, guys, that I'm not really. 
I'm not really having quite much joy with the wind here, it's been very, very loud. But here we are up on the point. We'll just dump the car there, I'll give you a quick look up there in a minute. But if we head on over, if you've watched the tour, you'll notice that in the harbour now the boats are really quite low. The tides went out quite a bit now. But as you can see you guys, it's about ankle deep, see just there? It's about ankle deep just there. And look how far it, the, the, the tide goes in. And that'll still come away out to here yet. That whole bay is just sand. It's unreal. And when I was visiting my mate Mark and Jill, he said that you can walk all the way around there <laughs> in the summertime. But yeah, look, see the boats, you guys? They're low down in the, the water they are now. So that's the tide. We're just heading right out. It'd be nice to have a house up here, though, eh? As long as you had good and double glazing. And I think this is what they call the visitor centre up here. Let's just go and have a look around, eh? So I think what I'll do is I'll just head up top here, just very quickly. Because I'm sure you can see Holtman from here. It's a place that we've visited quite a lot in the past. And we still do go to the beach and out for vlogs and stuff like that. But basically, guys, you know, that's... We've got the Cummingston part there. And then you got Holtman just up over there. And if you were to follow the coast down, all the ones that we did, uh, Bucky, Portese, Finefte, Portnoke, all the way down that way. But look at this, you guys. A beautiful little side of the beach. Look at the rocks. Right, so I've come back down, and again, you guys, I just don't know what the sound's like. I was going to test it later, but ah, go with it. So you can hear that whistling noise with the wind. Let's see. Oh man, imagine that being your garden. Wow. Isn't that awesome? Barkhead Visitor Centre. We'll have to come there one day. Close to the winter, it says. This is going to get really cold and really blowy, you guys. We'll just come down for a minute. Big drops here. That's all you're getting, you guys. <laughs> That's all you're getting. It is freezing. But yeah, I'll come back up here in the summer, you guys, so you can see it all properly, you know. And I'll give you a look around. Yeah, we're looking good. We're looking good. Right, you guys, let's get out of the car park. That was, that was really cold, you guys. I should have worn a scarf and gloves, but you know, just the usual. I think I'll be absolutely fine. As you'll see, guys, pretty, pretty wild. Let me just take you down to the harbour, actually, you guys. Give you a little look. You'll see that uh, red, white and green containers down there. That's, that was our ones, the plumbing ones. And all the other guys have got all their boat and stuff and whatever else in the others. Well, I'll take it to the harbour. I'll take it to the harbour, eh? Why not? Take it in just quick. We'll have a little look. The tide's obviously going out, so we won't see the, the big crash of waves like we did in the tour. But you'll notice see the boat's a bit lower in the water. And down we go, you guys. Quite steep down here. So we can drive back to the caravan site directly from the harbour, so that'll be good. Maybe make this just a tiny bit longer a video. I think. Time for the lights on exactly. What I'll do is I'll turn the camera just slightly to the right, you guys. And we'll do a little drive past. And now you'll see, look. If you've seen the previous videos, you see how low the boats are now. Look at this. Well under the harbour line, look. Oh, sorry, guys. Indicator. There's nobody around at all. I'm the only, I'm the only one out here tonight. But as you can see, you guys, look the, just the boats are just so low, nice and safe. You can 
hear the seagulls though, they're still out and about. Lovely, eh? You like it, you guys? It's a shame I haven't got just a touch of the sun, you know, for a wee bit of sun, but hey ho. And there we go, look. Well, you know something, you guys, I'll tell you, that boat's out quite far. Maybe it'll pull back in again. So, yeah, big storms tonight, you guys, look at this. This is what we're in the caravan with. You see the, the rain coming in like that? The, the, the spray, sorry. Yeah, this guy's. This guy's out a little bit, but it's like that front two maybe need tighten up a little bit, but maybe that's just the way they have it. And the two of them are kind of hooked together. Yeah, and these boats are prawn boats, you guys. It's a BCK, that's Bucky. Bucky 101. Well, we've been there before with the, the vlogs and the tours. Just down the coast to our, our east, to our right. And look at all the birdies, they're quite happy, look at them. <laughs> they don't care. So as you'll see guys, there's just a real, still a big wind coming in off the sea. And we're pretty much pointing into the wind here, I think, by the looks of things. Let's have a wee look. Wild, eh? And that's just at the point, that's the mouth of the harbour, obviously, where the boats go out. And it's actually very shallow over here on the left. You have to sort of go out the channel and then away out into the bay. And that'll be something, you guys. That'll be really something. And guys, you know, we've got an old boat. I think this summer we'll get some boating videos done and come down here and do that. It'll be pretty cool, I think. Yeah, that's the site away over there at the right, as you can see, you guys. And hopefully when I come down here, I'll be able to give you just a little view of just how far the tide goes away out in this bay, which is awesome. So if I just turn down here, this is the way we're going anyway. There's nobody around. So if I just bump up onto the curb here, look you guys. Now this bit was covered earlier. But there you go, look at that. A wild, wild night. So basically we can see the waves sort of crashing over there. That's that's basically now the water line. It goes out so quickly and comes in very quickly. So you've got to be a wee bit careful if you don't don't know what you're doing. You know you're not familiar with the place, you've got to be a bit careful. So the tide actually comes in and around behind you. And you could be out in a bit thinking that you're nice and safe and all of a sudden behind you you're slowly getting cut off. <laughs> but there we go. Along the harbour wall. And of course guys this used to be the old railway track you see. You see over on the left this, uh, this uh, brickwork here that used to be the old terminals and that you see. Or that would probably be in the walkway I think the terminal was up here. As you can see by this sort of fatter bit. Well, there's a little further on again, guys. These are ruts are pretty deep. Went through them earlier. So here we go. Now, what I think I'm going to do, you guys, is I'm going to park the car next to the caravan to give the caravan a little bit of a windbreak because the weather is wild, as you can see. And okay, we're in, a, we're in a fairly enclosed park, but there's just uh, there's no point, is there, you guys? There's no point risking stuff. A couple of things I need to fix on the outside of the caravan as well. Right, oh, well, look what David's got, though. Bought you a cream egg, didn't they? And we're just about to put on clutch powers. And listen to this, you guys. That's out the sunroof. It is really windy and really what? rainy. Dad, yes. it looks like there's no water on there, but it is water. Let's see. Now, guys, I've actually parked the espace right next to the caravan as a windbreak from the sea, which is just over there. So when I came back, that's what we did. But it is wild, isn't it, son? Right, so that's us there, you guys. And this is what we've got outside. It's crazy. Really, really windy. But poor old us, eh? Poor old us in our central heated Jesus caravan with DVD. Really rough and ugly. 
Everything's made out of Lego there. Oh, it's Lego land, isn't it? And put it in. Yeah. Here we go, it's clutch. Now comes the food, you guys. Quite simple. Get in the car, haven't you? Give me a wee. Right. David's got his hot dogs, Luke. And we've got some lettuce for Emily. No, no, we'll put the cucumber and carrots for Emily. <laughs> we've got a bit of lettuce tomorrow. Oh, looking good. There we are. Sorry, you guys. We don't have much light over this side. Well, I haven't listened to it. I haven't got a lot of light, is not it? It's just a, a bit dull here. There we go. Come forward. Hello, Davido. The girls get the hole on the table. Ah. Yeah, this is the boys' side normally, isn't it? It's a me and you set, don't we? We're still all clutch powers. Clutch. I call him Cutch. Cutch powers. So, is it... Is it supper time? Supper time. Right, supper time. Mummy is cutting... Cucumber for me. And... Lance. Mum, Dad, and mine, and Emily's. And we've got Clutch Powers on. He'll have a few DVDs after. Right, you guys, so there's... Wait, it's actually a triple bed. One, two, it is three. really, isn't it? Yeah. It's a triple bed, not a double. Go for it, young Ems. So this is something you've maybe never seen. Um, you know, if you've watched back through our videos, is this bed being made up into a double bed, eh? A triple bed, we'll call it, eh? Why not? So what do we do next, Ems? Do you remember? It's been a while. You get these. Yeah. And there. So you get the box off of the chairs. Oh, <laughs> And we're watching Hook Hook. Give us a hook, aren't we? Cup and hook. It doesn't really matter, honey, because we're not going to be... One there. Right. What about the other side? There's Tinkerbell. That's a bit of a favourite at Emily's, isn't it, Young Ems? Tinkerbell. Here she goes, get the other bit now. Cross it comes. Oh. <laughs> it's pretty big, isn't it? So yeah, guys, check out the size of this. This is pretty awesome. And the wind's still really crazy, isn't it, Young Ems? I mean, David can still go under this. Let's see if she can get it. It's not easy, this bit. It's a it's couple of things just here. blocking it. And she's got it! Wow, so Emily, go and show them the size of it. Look at this. Uh, Emily is a big girl. It is huge, isn't it? I still don't know why me and Mummy don't sleep in it like that. Yeah, yeah, I don't you know. could try this tonight. You could try tonight, couldn't you? There's a little old Julia Roberts as well, like his Tinkerbelly, Emily. <laughs> Look at that, she loves it. So, guys, night time is upon us, isn't it, young Ems? And you know I something? I know, look at this. Tons and tons of we just had a really cool time, actually, didn't we? Because Daddy was telling you stories that he used to tell you when you were a little baby. Yeah. Well, a little toddler. You can still remember them, can't you? Mm -hmm. And it was Emily the Mermaid, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, baby. Dad used to tell me mermaid ones all yeah. the time. You used to rescue people, didn't you? And rescue animals. And dolphins and whales and stuff, didn't you? And rescue little kids from the Rescue little kids. And I was still... This is David telling us a story, isn't it? I've been telling stories. I was but... getting more for from bears and I make it here. even cozier we started making wood <laughs> to make a bed oh. and then I made a mattress right. and then I made bear skin as some covers this is David the soldier in the jungle you guys and, and then uh -huh. I became world famous <gasps> world famous? And like I bear girls? and I got a lot of trophies oh. and I was so happy and I just kept on winning <gasps> trophies cool. of killing the most animals, staying the most nights. Oh, Every right. night I get one. When I finish my adventure, uh -huh. I'll be there for one year. For one year? I made it to December. Right. 25th. Like such a rush. And there was another one and and the 
Eva's joined us, the one and only Eva. There's no other Eva, is there? There's just crazy Eva, there's only one. Hey, there's only one. Yeah, Eva's actually really crazy. Yeah. I am. I've been twice to school. I shove out in the teacher. Oh my goodness. I do everything crazy. She's a crazy woman, that one, I'll tell you. And Emily knows it because she's in my class. Yeah. That's right, do you sit across from each other, don't you? Or next to each other, no? Next to each other, I thought you did. Here we go. Well, I, just live, I, I just live up there. Oh dear. Yeah, there's another bigger part of the building that I live in. Well, I'm not going to show you because it's really big. Oh, yeah. I know the one you mean. It's a really good one. There's a ginormous slide. <laughs> Where's Davido? There he goes. You sh David, you sure you don't want a heart? Uh, Alright. Right, so guys, I'm going to try down the water here. Again, still very windy, but look at the sun out. But the microphone's sort of covered, so I'm kind of hoping you'll hoping it'll be fine. And of course, tides in. I'll just give you a nice looky. Let's see. Imagine I've got this car up on it. I think I said that earlier in the video, actually. The great big deck. Yeah, oh yeah, tides definitely right in. Scotsman anymore you guys. I like my centrally heated caravan. <laughs> yeah, but that's been really good though. This place. And we're just eight miles from our town. We're literally just 10-15 minute drive and we're home. There's no problemo at all. But yeah we'll come back here in the summer I think so you know, we'll get a lot of good videos on the beach. Hopefully take the canoe out and stuff like that we'll, we'll see. So that's we're still at home base, look. And as Sharon really just get the car the caravan all tidied up now, and I'll probably do the same thing. There's the There's the crazies. So Davido Have you had a good holiday son? Because we forget, you guys need a holiday too. And round he goes. Ooh, watch your head. Oh, your head was close to that pole there. Right, so guys, that's our home. Yeah, baby, let's get out of here, man. We've got to go see the cats, the uh, fish, I'm and the rabbit. Oh. And Ketron and Bucky just. Ah, I see. Sun right into the woods. Well, come on, we've only got 15 minutes, we'll be home, won't we? Let's rock.